Uh, I'm Anatoly Rysin. Uh, I am a blockchain architect, so I am covering these technologies from inside. Uh, and uh, this is the uh, essence of uh, what we are trying to explain for those uh, people from business uh, who comes to us as the blockchain architects to uh, when uh, they are uh, in the middle of the hype of blockchain, they are asking, we are want to build our business on blockchain uh, and expect sustainable model to, uh, to uh, obtain uh, profit from the, not, not only from the ICO, but from the business itself. And uh, despite uh, of that, uh, that I am a blockchain maximalist, uh, and I really believe in this technology. Uh, here, I'm, uh, I'm here to warn you about common misunderstandings, what to expect from this technology, uh, and uh, how really it can be uh, used in your projects. But uh, this is really uh, a big talk. Uh, this is only a a small part of this big talk, so we cannot cover all the, these things, but uh, at least I want to uh, argue on the uh, terminology. Yep. Uh, and uh, to understand uh, really what we, uh, what we can expect. Uh, so firstly, this, this one slide, I really believe that uh, this is readable. Uh, this, uh, uh, a lot of the text on this slide, but really these lines are polished uh, to the shining. So if the, if this is the most concise, not the definition of the blockchain. This is the most concise definition of what, what are people expecting from the blockchain. And really, uh, for, some, uh, for some domains, uh, these expectations uh, really could be met. Uh, so, but uh, uh, when, uh, when we're trying to uh, transfer the experience from one uh, completely uh, unrelated area to the other, some of these expectations uh, really are failed. Uh, and uh, where is the myth, where is the truth uh, here? Uh, firstly, I want to uh, argue on the terms. Uh, terminology, when somebody comes to us and asks us, uh, we want to build our own blockchain, so we will have miners, we will have a blocks, we will have transactions. Firstly, uh, firstly about the terminology. The blockchain, it's really too narrow term because uh, there are other uh, systems that really can uh, deliver the same uh, expectations. Uh, but uh, there are also another term uh, that is uh, known to you. Uh, maybe, so you heard the term, the distributed ledger technology. And this is also a wrong term, really. It's too wide because, uh, because of the uh, word distributed distributed uh, ledger. It's really uh, ledger technologies, but uh, I want to argue on the uh, word uh, distributed. Uh, and firstly, uh, if, we, uh, if we will uh, speak about why the, uh, why the blockchain is too narrow, uh, why the blockchain is too narrow, really there exists other things that are really more general case uh, then the organizing information into blocks and uh, organizing these blocks as chain. Uh, there are uh, really promising projects that are not using chains. They are using more general data structure as a graph. And really the chain uh, is a, a small uh, example how a graph can be built, but it's uh, really simple, one by one. And if we want to achieve a, a concurrency, if we want uh, to build a really scalable, si scalable systems, then the blockchains really are ir irrelevant. Uh, there is another promising project like an IOTA hash graph that really uh, inherits all the, uh, all the best parts of the blockchains but provide more interesting properties. And the word uh, distributed, uh, firstly, this picture uh, is uh, flying across the internet 
and this is irrelevant for the blockchains. So uh, it's, it's commonly known by those who, uh, uh, by those who uh, are trying to classify our system as centralized, distributed, and decentralized. Oh, no, what does it mean? Uh, really, we cannot compare, we cannot uh, use the same scale to put words decentralized and uh, distributed. Because really, uh, distribute, the word distributed uh, means only uh, means only how your data uh, is geographically located. For example, uh, distributed systems. So think think of Google. For example, Google is really distributed system, but it is not decentralized system. And the decentralization itself is a thing uh, that how decisions are made. And uh, really, when we say that distributed ledgers, in distributed ledgers, it can be perfectly centralized. And uh, really, uh, it, it, it is not bad. It is not bad and it is not good. Uh, uh, the question is why, we, uh, why, want, uh, why do we want to use distribu uh, either distributed or decentralized systems? Uh, and unfortunately, uh, really, in all uh, scientific papers, we really are using word decentralized. But for referring the same properties in all the literature, non tech literature, uh, and the mass uh, uh, audience, uh, people used to uh, use the word uh, distributed, where really decentralized, I think, is more correct term. And the blockchain term uh, really is use, uh, used as an umbrella term for all those technologies. And unfortunately, we, we are forced to uh, use this term also in documents, in legal things. But really, if we want to, to be more correct, it's not really blockchains. And uh, users uh, should not ask us build, build obli no, obligatory a blockchain. And once more, and once more, about the distribution and the decentralization. Uh, distribution uh, is, a, a, is something that really delivers you a speed and efficiency. So for example, why Google decentralized its servers? To achieve speed. But uh, unfortunately, when we introduce the decentralization level, so uh, where each node needs to uh, reach the consensus between other nodes and so on, it really it introduces uh, huge uh, extra costs and uh, maybe eat uh, up all the, uh, all the benefits of the distribution. But really it will uh, add you special properties that uh, are uh, that are very important for the blockchain because uh, uh, only, uh, only this decentralized th uh, system uh, can be used for solving those problems of uh, mistrusting parties. When the mistrusting parties uh, want to communicate securely, then the really decentralization is needed. Uh, and other aspect, other aspect is. Uh, for those who really anticipated that, yes, decentralization is something that is really important, and uh, really understand that uh, blockchain technologies are cryptography related, they think that if we uh, use the smart cryptography, if we uh, will use all the things uh, that resembles something from Bitcoin or Hashgraph, it is sufficient. And the uh, really uh, warning and answer here is no, because the uh, uh, most successful blockchains of Bitcoin, of Ethereum, that are really working and you know, are really working in the uh, world, uh, they, besides of the uh, technology that is based on uh, cryptography, they are using uh, economic incentives. Uh, or it, it could be not economic, but it should be something that is related to incentive because without the incentive to maintain the network, the network really uh, can be distracted by, uh, by, every, uh, by every evil node. And the Byzantine fault tolerance and such terms, they are not helping 
if you are not uh, enforcing your blockchain with some kind of uh, in, uh, incentivization of, of the nodes. At least, at least, uh, 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 you can, uh, so if, if you don't want to build a public blockchain where anybody uh, could uh, could join and be incentivized uh, by some kind of cryptocurrency uh, you should introduce something uh, that will uh, uh, you should uh, introduce something uh, that will at least prevent the scam of the network for example if we consider such technologies as ripple and stellar that are actively used in, in banking uh, they are inter introduced their coin not to be a cryptocurrency. They introduced their coin to be the prevention of spam. So, uh, so transactions are so cheap, so any user that will war uh, want to uh, distract the um, uh, network, it can spend uh, spend his his money simply to uh, overflow the network, and it should be. Uh, uh, costly for him and uh, su such type of uh, it's not an incentivization it's uh, a kind of punishment but uh, it's really on the same scale and uh, really this is uh, first things that I want to warn you uh, and really the same slide the same same slide at the first slide but Really, these things, these expectations from the blockchains or blockchain-related technologies uh, really uh, can be achieved if the system carefully balanced and uh, has the real mathematical model uh, that describes why this model of this blockchain is stable. Because uh, otherwise, it's simply hype. And thank you very much.